starting this vlog on a bank holiday Monday, which is very unlike me. It feels very weekend vibes today, but I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow and I wanted to start now because we're making Gray's birthday cake. We and by are. we, we are. <laughs> and by we, I don't mean me, I've just come home. You guys know I was going to buy a supermarket cake and then just like add to it. But I didn't want to ask Jojo because then she gets all stressed. But I knew that as it got closer to the event, she'd be like, oh, I'll just do it. She's really good at baking, but I hate to like put the pressure on. But here we are. She's no, baking. Me. I'm not <laughs> Let me tell you what we're doing. Not that I really know. Basic vanilla sponge cake. Three tiers. Look at Grey having a fancy cake. And then we're going to decorate it frozen-ish. Yes, Rinkoff's recipe. Deb's dad who has a bakery called Rinkoff's Bakery, has given us the recipe. So let's see. He doesn't even own a spatula, by the way. I'm not a baker. This is why I was going to buy a cake. Who doesn't own a spatula? Oh, this, is this Grey's baking? The reason we are baking it now on a Monday and the party is until Saturday is because we're going to freeze the cakes and then take them out at the end of the week and decorate it. And that is because it makes it easier to decorate. Yeah, because yeah, it gives it, it's a bit more firm. It give you a heart attack the day before birthday. And it doesn't give you a heart attack the day before birthday party. It means that we can prep. So we're making it ahead of time, freezing it, and then decorating it the day before the party. Okay, we had to leave the cakes in for a lot longer than we were supposed to, because I have no idea my oven is so unpredictable. Sometimes too hot, sometimes not hot enough, but they smell good. No, no more biscuits. No. You can have some pear. Pear or your dinner. Woo! They smell good. So what are you going to do? Cut off the top so that you can pile them on top of each other. Honestly, this is my worst nightmare. I can't, I can't do baking. She's going for it. The confidence. Well, you literally know what you're doing. I would absolutely destroy this. No, I, but you're not meant to do it while it's hot. But but you need to go home. <laughs> I only bought three cakes to do this too. Oh my god, it is so delicious. No, we're meant to do this when it's frozen, yeah. but it's just going to be more mess. So if it's done now, then all we have to do is ice it. Mm. Oh, yummy. Yeah. I'm a bit of a waste on this. It's good because Grey doesn't like chocolate and sweet things, so she'll like this. It's quite a bit later now, and um, I will never learn that it is just not possible for me to vlog with the kids unless I'm showing the kids. <laughs> but we got the cakes baked, and actually we're just letting them completely cool down downstairs. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do once they've like properly cooled down. But this video is actually sponsored by Beauty Pie. I've got so many lovely products to show you. This is not one of them, but just to show you what I'm using, this is the Super Healthy Hair Blow Dry Spray. It smells like coconuts, it's so nice. I've just showered and I've done a little bit of a tanning routine. Haven't tanned for ages, but now the weather's kind of improved slightly. I like to, when I, when I have the time, I like to tan. I just use like a gradual tanner. Before I tanned though, I exfoliated my whole body and I also used this, which is new from Beauty Pie. It's that acid enzyme, acid enzyme. It's an exfoliating cleanser for your face and your body. So I used this on my face and then like all across my chest and like the top of my back, which is really nice actually. It's really nice to kind of cleanse your, your face and your décolletage, décolletage? something like that. So I gave myself a really good like cleanse and exfoliate, tanned my body, and then I'm about to do my face, so I will show you that. I also then moisturized elbows. This little bit here gets really dry for me. Elbows there, wrists, knees, ankles, using my Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Body Moisturizer. I don't know why I'm using the tiny travel one. I've got the big one somewhere, but I'm just kind of finishing up this travel size. I'm obsessed with this moisturizer, honestly, the best body moisturizer ever, ever, ever. So I also use that before I tan. This video is going to be about the new Beauty Pie collection, but do you know what? I'm going to properly talk to you about it tomorrow. Tomorrow is a work day for me. It's late in the evening now and any other parents will know that when it gets to the evening and your kids have gone to sleep, I'm just like frazzled. <laughs> I'm so frazzled. So I feel like I'm not going to say anything like worth listening to tonight. So I'm going to properly talk to you about like the new Beauty Pie collection tomorrow and tell you in detail but I wanted to tell you a little bit now because this is genuinely when I'm using some of the products this is really interesting this is the awesome bronze flawless self tanning mist for face and body and I wanted to show you how I'm using this because tomorrow will be too late I would have already done it tonight comes with this big fluffy brush and what I'm gonna do sorry I thought I heard a child crying I'm gonna spray it 
onto the brush and then I'm going to kind of act like it's a bronzer, like a contour. I'm going to apply it in a three shape and this gives a really nice face tan that's a lovely base for when I'm putting on my makeup. This is a really good brush. I did this last week and really enjoyed the results. I'm just going to take it down to my neck a little bit. I'm just going to do one more layer. I tested this out first, obviously, to make sure I didn't get any sort of like reaction to it and my skin really likes it. It's really, really lovely. That is all I do there. And that gives a lovely glowy bronze to the skin. Okay, let me go get into my pajamas and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the cakes. The cake tastes so good. I can't stop eating. They're like bits that she cut off. Mm, so yum. Got three bits of cake like this. Jojo said to get some cling film, lay it out, put the cake on the cling film, wrap it up and then wrap it in foil and then put it in the freezer. So that is my job now. I'm gonna get that done and then I'm gonna cook us dinner and then we're gonna watch Married at First Sight. But I'll start this vlog properly tomorrow morning. I promise tomorrow will be less chaotic. Good morning guys, it is the next day. It's a lot calmer, it's a lot less chaotic and I'm looking a little bit bronzed. It's actually showing more bronze in real life. I feel like everything on the camera is just like brighter and lighter, but I'm feeling so good. It's so nice, like I always forget to tan, but when I do I feel so good for it because I feel like I can just like have no makeup on and everything just looks a little bit Mm, I just really like it. It's also a very subtle tan. Like I don't want a crazy dark. I don't want everyone to ask me if I've been on holiday. That is so awkward. So really, really happy. And you can kind of see what the face tan looks like now. Sorry, I was kind of like whispering to camera last night. I just looked back at the footage and it was like mega awkward, but the kids were downstairs. I didn't want to wake them. You guys understand. When I was straightening my hair this morning, I curled the bottom inwards just to like see what it looked like on me. And I quite like it. It's a little bit bat mitzvah guest. That's quite a niche reference. It's a little bit Rachel from Friends, but it's a bit different and it makes it look like I've done something with my hair rather than just like having the ends totally straight. And then I always feel like for me, it just looks like I haven't put waves in my hair that day. But this still feels like I've done something to my hair without having to wave my entire head of hair. So looking forward to having quite a productive day today. I've actually got two shoot days with Georgia this week, trying to like pack in as much as we can before she goes off for the month to get married, which is very exciting. It's gonna be a really busy week later in the week. So today is my like get stuff done week. And obviously, you know, it's Grace party at the end of the week. And I've still got bits to do for that. I will show you the party bags in this vlog because I've done all of them apart from her party bag. Like honestly, who knew that you're supposed to do a party bag for your child as well? Like, I just assumed she's gonna get loads of presents. She doesn't need a party bag. But then I spoke to all my friends and they were like, you have to give her a party bag. She's gonna be so jealous. She's gonna want one. And I asked her, she was like, yeah, I want one. So I had to go out and buy all the stuff to make her a party bag as well. <laughs> honestly, I had no idea. Last year I shared, she shared a party with my nephew. So my sister like did it all. This is my first year of like doing a proper kids party. And it's just, it's a lot. But whilst I'm here and I'm gonna do my makeup with you guys, I wanted to talk to you about the new Beauty Pie Summer Collection. It's a limited edition collection. It's so gorgeous and summery and it's got me very excited for better weather and a bit of sunshine. I kept the packaging. I've been trying these products for a few weeks, but I kept the packaging so I wanted to show you guys. These are empty, but look how like happy and sunshiny these are. <gasps> Just makes me like want to go sit on a beach. Anyway, so this is part of the Beauty Pie New limited edition summer collection. I'll show you some of the bits from that collection. One of them I showed you last night, the tanning mist. Absolutely love that. Love the big fluffy brush. So easy. Also great for when you're doing like your hands or your ankles or like difficult bits. So nice to blend in with that big brush. You can build it up if you like. I really like this like subtle glow. I need to put on a little bit of foundation. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I have like a summer foundation color. Let's just go for this one for now. This is the beauty Beauty Pie Angled Contour Brush. They have um, loads of great makeup brushes, if you didn't already know. I've got quite a few of their brushes. Actually, I'll show you one that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. Where is it? This one. Soft Highlighting Powder. I never use brushes for what they're for, clearly. Um, I use this for concealer. It's just like the perfect fluffy brush for concealer. So I'm not going to put on um, much foundation. I only want a light layer because I don't need it. That's the best thing about this tan. It's just like giving me a nice, a nice base for my makeup. Literally just the lightest layer of like a tinted moisturizer. This I've also been loving from Beauty Pie. It's always sold out. It's the Under Eye Genius in light medium. So it's a 
a light reflecting. It's not even a concealer. I put it kind of under my concealer, but it really, really brightens the under eye area. I'm gonna go in with that fluffy brush that I was just telling you about and just blend that in. I find that's a lovely base for my concealer. If you are tired, if you haven't had the best sleep, it just like instantly brightens. Can you see what it's done to that under eye area? And then once I go on, go in with my concealer on top, it just, it looks fab. So did you all have a lovely lovely uh, bank holiday weekend. We had a really, really nice weekend. We went to a friend's on Saturday for a bit of a coronation party. It was just kind of more of a celebration of like a bank holiday weekend, all getting together and having yummy food and nice drinks. That was really fun. Loads of kids. It was just like chaos and fun and lots of wine. Sunday, we went to Hamley's for like a special VIP event. Um, the kids obviously loved it. It was like a coronation event. It was, it was so much fun. I mean, the kids have no idea how lucky they are. I said to Grey, you don't understand how lucky you are to be in Hamleys before it's opened. Like this is not a normal experience for a kid. <laughs> so that was amazing. And then we were in town, so we stayed in town and we kind of did a little bit of shopping, bought them some new trainers, got them some like mini kids gazelles, which are unbelievably cute. Just did like loads of walking around town. The kids were on like great form. Grey did so much walking, very proud of her. And it was just like really fun to be in town together and all the like decorations and flags everywhere. It was really, really lovely. Then on Monday, Bank Holiday Monday, we did some prep for Grey's party. We baked the cake, as you kind of saw. And I also went for lunch with my two friends, SJ and Gemma, and Gemma's new little baby. And that was so nice, because we never get to like do lunch together without kids. Like obviously there was a baby, but that's different, like without the older kids. We've now got three, four, five, six, seven kids between us. <laughs> And we just really wanted some time, just us. Like we really don't do it often enough. We all feel terribly guilty. If we're not working, we wanna be with the kids and you know what it's like. But it, it was a reminder to like carve out time to see friends without kids because even just like an hour's lunch, it was so nice to just chat. Like we all have a lot going on in our lives and we did like a little round table and it was very, very therapeutic. Also, Mel C was sat next to us in the cafe. An actual Spice Girl, like we were all so good at containing our excitement. Like the 10 year old in me would have been hyperventilating, but I was like, she's here having lunch with her family. Like we're just gonna play it cool. But she like looked over at Gemma's baby and was like, oh, so cute. And I'm like, oh my God, this little baby, I'm gonna tell her when she grows up that Mel C thinks you're cute. It was very exciting. Like an actual Spice Girl. And she's the best one, isn't she? Like we all know Mel C is the best Spice Girl, obviously. Okay, let me show you the standout product from the Beauty Pie Summer Collection. This this is the awesome bronze, gorgeous sun-kissed bronzing cream in sunny side. So it's a cream bronzer. You guys know I love a cream bronzer. I actually haven't used a powder bronzer for years. I only use cream bronzers. I just find that they, even in the winter, I find that it just makes my skin look more dewy and hydrated. And as I get older, that's something that's really important to me. And I just, I just prefer it. I prefer the way it looks. I find it much easier to use as well. So this is what it looks like. It actually looks much darker in the pan then it comes out, so don't worry about that. Let's use this brush, let's see if this brush, this is the Pro Blend brush. So I'm just gonna swirl it around and then just take a little bit of the excess off on the back of my hand. And then I'm just gonna start gradually blending and working it up to a perfect amount of bronze for me. Um, it's a very, very lovely, easy to blend formula. I don't know if cream bronzers are intimidating to some people, but if you find them intimidating, uh, don't because I find them a lot easier to use than a powder bronze just because you can keep blending it So if you put too much or too little, it's just really easy to change what you've done basically Can you see what a difference that makes already to like the shape of my face? So I'm gonna do that again on the other side take that down onto my neck and onto my ears and just I'm also gonna take a little bit across my nose just to give that really kind of like sun-kissed look This is a lovely brush. This is the first time I've used this brush actually I just ordered it last week pro blend brush. It's really nice add a little bit more. That is the perfect amount for me. Again, showing lighter on camera than it is in real life, but feel very bronzed. Love that. So this bronzer comes in four shades. I've only tried two of them. But yeah, the one I use today is called Sunny Side. My skin just feels really good today. That tanning mist that I used last night, it's actually got niacinamide and vitamin B3 in it, which I think really helps my skin like feel better the next day. It's also got aloe vera in it, which is very soothing and calming on the skin. There's also an 
eyeshadow quad in this collection. This is the deluxe eyeshadow quad. And let me show you the colors. These are the colors in the eyeshadow quad. Really gorgeous. I'm gonna put a very, very light dusting of I think this one here. I don't really want too much shadow today. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my lids. It's like a really nice kind of pinky tone. And then I'm also gonna show you like another option. You guys know I just love like bronzy matte brown eyeshadow. That is like my favorite. I'm actually gonna use the bronzer as an eyeshadow, which I often do. And I absolutely love the finish it gives, especially because it's a cream. It looks really hydrating. I can just like blend that out with my fingers. And I'm going to take a little bit of that as well using the Shape and Smudge eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that underneath my eye as well. There is also a brown liquid liner in this collection, which I absolutely love. It's got a really, really long tip, so it's very easy to use. Really, really love this. I'm not gonna use it today because I don't want a liquid liner on this look today. I'm actually just gonna use a mascara. This is uh, the Rap Star Tubing Mascara. When I made my Beauty Pie order a couple of weeks ago, I saw that this has just come back into stock. Haven't tried it yet, so have no idea how it's gonna work for me, but I thought today was a good, a good time to try it. So I'm just gonna layer that on. Ooh, wow that like instantly works for me i always say to you guys i can normally tell straight away if i like a mascara or not because some some mascaras don't really look don't really grip to my lashes and they take ages to make an impact that has like instantly worked for me that's a really nice mascara it's got one of those brushes that's like got little like bobbles on it i think tubing mascaras are the ones where you can like just remove it with your finger at the end of the day I don't know, I always remove my makeup the same way, no matter what, but I think it like fully coats the lashes. That is really, really nice. That is a super easy mascara to use. There are also some blushes in this collection, and today I'm gonna use one called Gleam Me Up. It looks like this. It's kind of got this like iridescent finish to it. To be honest, I wasn't sure about when I first saw it in the pan, but when I put it on, I really, really like the kind of glowy finish it gives my cheeks. I think I'm gonna try this brush for the blusher. Uh, this brush is also in the collection. It is the Pro Bronze and Contour. So this actually fits perfectly in here. I always like to pack a lot of product onto the brush but then take off the excess because you can always put more on. Just gonna blend out the edges with my bronzer brush. That's a really pretty summery blush. Okay, final thing on my lips. This is the Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. This is gorgeous. This is in the shade Island Rose. Is it Island Rose or Island Rose? It's Island Rose, clearly have something on my mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna swipe that across my lips. I love a lip oil. It's a little bit more natural than a lip gloss and really nourishing for your lips. I love, I love the bendy. Can you see how much the the tip bends. It makes it really easy to like curve around your lips. And there you go, that's my makeup today using the new Beauty Pie Limited Edition Summer Collection. So many gorgeous bits. But honestly, I have so many Beauty Pie bits that I just like integrated into my everyday makeup, skincare, body care, like everywhere I look right in front of me on my desk. I've literally got the lip scrub here that I use all the time. It's definitely become the beauty brand for me that if I could only use one brand, I would use Beauty Pie. Or if I lost all my makeup and skincare, tomorrow, where's the first place I would go to repurchase stuff? Beauty Pie, like it's just got everything I need. I love it, I'm constantly so impressed with the products. As always, I've got my same code that you can always use. It's Lily Sent Me. I'll put it on the screen now and that gets you 10 pounds off your annual plus membership. Personally, I think it's so worth having a membership. I love my Beauty Pie membership. The products are incredible and the prices you can get them at if you are a member are just insane. So if you are a member, hopefully you get some great product recommendations from my videos. If you're not yet a member, you use my code for £10 off the annual membership. You will recoup the membership money so quick, I can't even tell you. It's 100% worth it. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, I've just been planning the shoots the rest of the week and I've got some really cool jobs coming up. Gonna be doing loads of like organic content as well. Feeling really excited and good about this week. Oh my God, I also start my pottery course this week. I keep forgetting. Oh my God, I've got nothing to wear. <laughs> I don't have anything. I. I wish I just, I really wanted to find some like secondhand dungarees or overalls or boiler suit that I could just like get messy and let the clay just get all over me rather than like wearing an apron. But I've looked everywhere and haven't managed to find any. I found some really cute secondhand Oshkosh dungarees for the kids, but couldn't find anything for myself. I need to go get something today because I haven't even got uh, anything to wear, but I'm really excited. I'm really nervous. 
but I'm really excited. I can't believe that's this week. It's come around so quickly. Eight weeks of three hour lessons once a week. I'm just doing the wheel throwing because from my past experience, I think I prefer that to hand building. I have no idea what the other people are gonna be like on the course or, I don't know, I'm really excited. Just before I have lunch, let me sit down and show you some stuff for Gray's birthday. First of all, the party bags, they're all in here and prepped apart from her one. Uh, let me find you like a good example of one. Okay, here you go. <laughs> this is the party bag. I know it's maybe a little bit different to, I don't know what you're supposed to get as a party bag. Some people just do like cake or like or some sweets or lots of little plasticky bits of toys. From my experience as a parent, Gray gets very excited for the going home bag at parties, gets in the car, maybe plays with the bits for like a second and then they just get like thrown away and it's always a bit like, I don't know, painful to watch. So I tried to think of something that is fun for them to like do when they get home. That also isn't too expensive because you can spend so much money on party bags and the party itself is already too expensive. I didn't want to go too over the top. So this hasn't cost too much. So first, so this is what is involved in our party bag. A little cellophane bag, I got loads of them from Hobbycraft. And then I've just got some like string that I already had at home. Inside the little bag, which does not look very impressive, is one of these little letters. These are from Hobbycraft. They're like £1.20. Um, and they're little just kind of cardboard 3D letters. So each kid has a letter for their name. By the way, my friend did for her kids party personalized water bottles. So it was water bottles with their name on, which is such a good idea because they could just like reuse them obviously and they're actually really helpful. But I feel like it took a while to arrive from Etsy and like if there were like last minute changes to the guest list, that was a bit stressful for her. So I didn't want to do that. So I got these little letters. Each kid has their letters. So this is for little Amelie and it's got an A in it. And then I ordered some of those little paints from Amazon where I ordered like, it was a set of three uh, and there was like 18, so I broke them up and each kid is gonna get three little paints. There's a little paintbrush in there. Um, actually, this one's a bit different. I ordered, got those from Ryman's. This is just one that I'm gonna put in Grace party bag that's from her own little brush collection. So a little paintbrush, and they can paint and decorate their own letter. If they want to keep it, they can keep it in their bedroom. I don't know if they will or not. And then there's also behind there some little stickers. So mm, it's kind of hard to show you because I haven't got any left, but imagine it's like a little thing of stickers, a bit like, a bit like this. So they can stick some stickers on them and decorate it that way as well if they want. And then just at the back is one of those uh, balloons that you blow up and it's got elastic and you bounce it because let's be honest, kids bloody love these balloons for some reason. So that's the party bag and obviously they'll get some cake to go home as well. Just like a little cute thing. So now I've got to make one up for grey. <laughs> I haven't got all the bits. I've got, I've got a G. Oh wait, let me take the price tag off. I just rushed to Hobbycraft on the weekend to get a G. So she's got a G. She's got a balloon. She's, she's not going to be happy that she didn't get a pink balloon, but I've already given all the pink balloons away. I'm going to put some smiley face stickers. Wait, let me cut it. She doesn't need the whole thing. Put those behind the letter. Paintbrush. I haven't got any paints. We, I don't have any more of those little paints, but to be honest, when she comes home, she could just use the paints that she's got in the cupboard. She won't mind. Yeah, that's everything. Let's, let's tie that up with a little bit of string. Now, Grey won't feel left out. <laughs> Did I tell you that we're having Elsa come to her party? We're having a party entertainer. I've never done it before. I have no idea if she's going to, she's either gonna love it or be really shy. But even if she's shy, like her friends will, you know, be there and to be honest, I'm just looking forward to seeing all of my friends with their kids. Like that's my favorite thing. When they're still young enough that you can just invite your friends and your friends' kids. And it's not like you don't have to invite the whole class at school. I always quite like seeing all my friends and family at my kids' birthday parties. There you go. That one does not look as impressive, but she'll be fine with that. Let's pop that in there. Those are all the party bags. Good to go. Yay. And then I thought I'd also show you some extra bits that I got Grey for her birthday. So we are getting her a bike for her birthday. She's finally at the age where I think she's ready for a bike. We're buying her one from like Halfords that comes with pedals and actually comes with stabilizers. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pedals off the bike 
and get her to use it more as a balanced bike because I think that is, from my sister's experience, that's the best way to teach kids how to ride a bike rather than getting her used to stabilizers, which means that she won't really learn how to balance properly. But it's, she's gonna be really excited. It's like a proper bike. And then we can put the pedals back on when she can learn to ride it properly, which I don't think will be too long. But she kind of knows that she's getting a bike. So I wanted to get her a few like extra bits to open on the day, just things that I know that she'll, she'd like. So I got her some crafty bits because when I went into hobby craft, I just can't believe how much like amazing stuff there is in there. I love that shop. We got her a case which is like has twistable crayons in. I just thought this was handy because we've got so many like loose things and this is like looks really easy to store in the cupboard. She can like open it up and pick her favourite colours. She loves doing crafty stuff. Um, also from Ryman's I got her this little like drawing craft book so she could draw in it and put stickers in it rather than using like just loose pieces of paper. And then I got her some stickers because I just remember when I was younger how much I loved stickers. Look, this would have really excited me when I was a little girl. Shiny mermaid stickers and like puffy stickers. I really want to get her like a sticker book. I don't even know if that exists anymore, but somewhere, so instead of just putting stickers on pieces of paper and throwing them away, like collecting stickers in a book. Oh God, I just used to love that kind of stuff. I also got her this little thing of like gem stickers. Got her some different colour papers, so all different colour papers. She's suddenly got to the age where she loves like cutting and sticking, so papers and Pritt stick and you know. Oh, this I got her to actually wear on her birthday, a little It's My Birthday badge. I think we're gonna take her to um, this like indoor water park for her birthday because she said to me, I really miss swimming on holiday. And I realized that even though she has swimming lessons like once a week, they're not fun. You're just like learning, aren't you? And it's only really on holiday that you get to have fun swimming. So we're taking her to this indoor water park. She's gonna love that. I'm going with a friend. Also saw this in Hobbycraft, 3D mold and paint unicorns. This is, she's so fully in the like unicorn <laughs> sparkly stage of her life. Um, so you like make a unicorn in a mold and then you paint it. That is just right up her street. She's gonna love that. And then the final thing is um, a little Lion King Tony for her Tony box because she's totally obsessed with the Lion King, the Lion King 2, the Lion Guard. She knows all the words to all the songs and and this is gonna make bedtime with both kids even more high energy than it already is. <laughs> I need to wrap all these things, but I don't think I bought I have any nice wrapping paper. Oh, I just found one more thing that I saw in Tesco. A little Elsa, like, figurine thing. It does nothing, but I just know she's gonna love it. She's gonna, like, play little games with it and take it around with her everywhere and put it in her handbag she has a handbag. She doesn't wear it out. It's just for like fancy dress, but it's very funny. Okay, I'm gonna head out. I've got to buy some ingredients for my shoot tomorrow. Oh, I'm so obsessed with the color of this jumper. It's from Lululemon. It just makes me so happy. I've also got some leggings in this color. It's just so nice. Actually, I'm shooting tomorrow with those leggings and I'm gonna be making bruschetta. Is that how you say it? I feel like the Italians don't say bruschetta, they say bruschetta, but I feel cringe saying it. I need to go buy some ingredients for that. I need to pop to a couple of shops, but it's still pretty early. It's like half 10, so I feel like I can get that done and come back and still have a productive day. But yeah, like getting prepped before the shoots is something I always forget, like eats into my time, but it makes the shoot days much smoother. Okay, I've come to Primark. I have not been to Primark in years, like years. But I feel like I'm gonna be able to find something for my pottery class here. I'm gonna try and find something to wear to my pottery class and I'm also gonna buy some leggings for grey for nursery just cause they get so destroyed and it's just like good to have like 10 pairs of leggings that she can just like rotate when she's at preschool. I'm gonna try and not get too distracted and too excited and then I need to go to the supermarket. Oh my goodness, that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I did get some stuff. I tried on a couple of parachute pants, which are just hilarious that they're back in fashion because they really remind me of jungles and UFOs from my teenage days. But I actually got the beige pair because I thought they'd be really good. I could just get loads of like clay on them and you won't even really be able to tell and they're really thin material and kind of like just easy to move around in. I also got this beige pair of dungarees though because I thought they'd be good. I sized up in those and they were really comfortable and I tried on a denim jumpsuit which I did not get. And then I ended up helping this couple, this like old couple, because oh, it really frustrates me. The car park thing is all like self-service and you've got to put in your number plate, you've got to like put in your mobile number, you've got to tap to pay. It's like they probably in their like late 80s 
and they were getting so kerfuffled the machine wasn't working obviously i helped them out and she was telling me she was like my supermarket's now going all self-service and it's just really stressful and just made me sad it's just like my grandma would totally be the same it somehow like takes away their independence a bit but anyway i think there's usually someone there like i was to kind of help and sort it out for them in the end okay just popping into a nice little local green grocers i'm gonna get some yummy tomatoes and mozzarella and hopefully some good bread I'm home and I wanted to show you that I also got this which I actually don't know if this is meant for like a bathroom or I don't know it could be for all kinds of things but I think it would be really nice to display my um bruschetta that I'm making tomorrow <laughs> Rich has raised his eyebrows would you say bruschetta? It's bruschetta, isn't it? It just sounds cringe when I say it. Um, I don't know, I feel like it could be used for all kinds of nice things. So I got that and I got myself a bath pillow. No, the last one I had, Rich, was not good. So this bath. one, <laughs> he thinks I've been through lots of bath. This one looked good and it's got little sucker things to keep it there. I don't have bath anymore because I don't feel like I can sit comfortably in my bath. I don't know why, but I feel like this might help me. From the shop, I got coriander, basil, golden delicious apple juice, sesame oil, mozzarella sourdough rye bread that looks like it's going to be a really good one for cutting good shape uh, peaches an aubergine for dinner high lentils for dinner and some incredibly delicious looking tomatoes mmm Oh, and I also got myself some miso soup. I need to make myself lunch now because I'm very hungry. And I'm going to spend the rest of the day getting on with work, getting a lot of stuff edited. So nothing left interesting to film for you guys for today. I'm really looking forward to Grey's party on the weekend. I will let you know in my next vlog how it all went. And also just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your lovely comments on my last video. I really enjoyed making that. It was quite spontaneous, but it was quite therapeutic. And it seems like lots of you guys really related to it, which I love. So thank Thank you if you watched that video. If you haven't watched it, it was me looking back at 10 years of outfit photos and talking about postpartum bodies and a bit of kind of loss of identity and style and being on the internet throughout that time. Go have a watch if you haven't seen it already. Don't forget my beauty pie code will be down below in the description box along with links to all of the products that I mentioned and I think I've got like an edit page as well so I'll link that down below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!